Hey you guys, I'm going to show you basically how to design your own kettlebell complex. Now, it doesn't have to be complicated, but I'm here to simplify it for you. I'm going to break it down for you step by step. So you have three categories to choose from. You have the push, the pull, and the squat. Now you're going to choose one to three exercises in each of these categories. So it's really your choice if you want to uh, design a double kettlebell complex or a single kettlebell complex, depending what your pref preference is, or you could do both. You can integrate them into the same program. So I'll show you how to do that. For the push, you could choose a single arm kettlebell press. single arm press, okay? For the pull, it's basically a uh, lower body pull, which is a hinge. You go with a clean, or it could be a kettlebell swing, one arm swing, or a kettlebell snatch, one arm snatch. And you got a squat. So single arm squat in the rack. Single arm squat. Okay? So that would be the exercises for a single arm uh, kettlebell complex. Then, if you want to design a double kettlebell complex, you could choose, again, one to three exercises in each of these categories. Right now, I'll choose the double kettlebell press. You could have a seesaw press as well. You could do push presses. You could do kettlebell jerks. So I will choose a, a double KB push press. All right. So I basically have three exercises here. So I chose three. You can choose between one to three. It's really up to you. In the, in the uh, pull section, so I got one already. I'll go with the double swing. And then double clean. Okay. For the squat, we got the single arm squat already. Now I'm going to do with a double kettlebell front squat. And I will leave it like that. Let's just leave it there. Okay? So now that I chose basically my, um, my lifts, I will uh, emphasize one out of each category, I will emphasize one. So for the push, I will emphasize the double kettlebell press. You follow? For the pull, I will emphasize the double kettlebell swing. And for the squat, I will emphasize the double kettlebell front squat. So other options for the squat I forgot to mention, you could do like a, like a reverse lunge or a split squat or a front lunge. That's other squatting options. You could go in the single leg stuff, okay? So I am, I'm choosing to emphasize one here, okay? So that's the important part. Now, I will have an A, B, and C template. So let's put that over here. So we're gonna have A, B, and then C. Now what I will do in each is I will basically um, 
and A, I will focus on the push, basically the press. Okay, so we'll go with the press here. And that will be my emphasis in A. That means that I will be doing more work. I will be doing more reps with the press. So we'll put two to three reps, okay? With B, I will be doing, I will be emphasizing the double swing. And with that, I will be doing two to three reps as well. And for C, I will be emphasizing the squat, double kettlebell, front squat. A lot of acronyms there. <laughs> and I will be doing two to three reps with that, okay? So the lifts that I emphasized, that I chose in each category, push, pull, and squat, I will be putting them in an A, B, C template. You follow? So A is press, B is pull, which is the swing, C is a squat, okay? So underneath that, I will choose another lift from the other following categories to put underneath, and it will be de-emphasized, okay? So what I mean is, um, I still do them, but I won't do as many reps. So for A, I'm gonna choose the um, double clean. Clean. And I would be doing only one or two reps with that. And for the squat, be doing front squats again. And be doing only one or two. For the B session, obviously I'm emphasizing the swings. I'm still doing a push, a press. I'll be doing the push press. Only one or two reps. And then I'd be doing the front squat again. Only one or two. All right. C is basically the same thing. I'm emphasizing the squat, still adding the push. I'm going to be doing the uh, press, double kettlebell press. Only one or two. And I will be doing the swings. Swings or cleans, it really doesn't matter. It's your choice. So let's put swings. And that's gonna be one or two. So you see the pattern here is gonna be uh, in each session of A, B, and C, you're only emphasizing one, but you're doing the other lifts as well. So when you're doing a complex, you're doing all three back to back without stopping, okay? So um, there's really uh, other ways of doing this, but this is the, I want you to get the main idea. Um, obviously, if you're using one kettlebell, you know, here in session A, it would be a single arm press, and then you do a uh, single arm clean, and then you do a single arm front squat, so on and so forth, and then you do the other side, all right? So, um, it's really up to you. You can have one day where you're using one kettlebell, the next day you're using double kettlebell. It's really up to you. It's like the more you add, you start to um, kind of complicate it a, a tad bit, but if you like it, if you, if you can do that, it's fine. Um, so in each session, notice that I, I only have three lifts here, okay? Um, that could be changed. You can also add uh, four or even five exercises in each of these. 
So let me give you another example of that. Let's say if I will, I, I will emphasize in B the pull. Okay, so for here I chose the double kettlebell swing. If I want to add more exercises, I will mo add more of the pull. So I will add a clean also here. I may do it at the end. And I will do maybe two to three cleans. Okay, that's another way of adding volume to the session. So if you're emphasizing, let's say, the press in session A, then you would, at the end, maybe do another press or do a push press or do a jerk. You could plug them in between there. In here, like I said, you could do another pull, like a clean. You can either, even add a double snatch in there, which is another form of pull. In the uh, session C, you can add more squats. You can add uh, reverse lunges. It's really up to you guys. But I just kept it simple by keeping only three, three lifts in there. And just to keep it simple, uh, if it's your first time designing a program like this, try to maybe keep it to three, okay? All right, so now that you, if you settled all this stuff and you know which exercise you wanna focus on and you write everything down, now you got that settled. So like I said, whatever exercise you're focusing on, you're doing more reps. So here I'm doing two to three, and the other lifts that are not as emphasized, I'm doing only one to two reps, okay, which less. So it's easier. That is, I'm doing that on purpose because you're gonna be cycling through the days back to back, all right? Now, um, what weight should you be using for each? What weight should be using for each of these? So I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna simplify it for you. You're gonna use a weight that is your uh, 10 rep max for your press. Okay, your 10 rep max for your press. So if you're choosing, let's say, a uh, single arm press, test your, uh, test your 10 rep max. If you're doing a double kettlebell press, test your 10 rep max in that and you're gonna be using the same kettlebells for the entire program for those lifts, okay? So again, use your 10 rep max of your press. Why the press, you ask? Because uh, it's probably the hardest exercise in there. And, um, you know, you can uh, gauge everything else by, with the press, with the weights you use for the press. Everything else you know you're going to be able to do. All right? So you're going to use your 10 rep max for the press, and that's going to be for everything else. Got it? Pretty simple. For your rep strategy, so like I said, uh, start off for the lifts that you're emphasizing two to three at the beginning. Okay, as you progress, start to slowly add one or two more. So go from two to three, to three to four, to four to five. And then you start building from there. Um, the other lifts, if they start to feel easy, you know, in general, stick with one to two, but then you could, you know, bring two to three if you like, but that's gonna be, um, the other lifts I would kind of maybe probably keep it the same if you're doing one to two, maybe go to two and then stop there, okay? Because you're going to be doing more work in the other days anyway, all right? So that is your uh, rep strategy. Now, you're not going to be doing complexes every day. You're not going to do that. It's just too taxing on the nervous system. Instead, what you're going to add in between is a variety day. The variety day is gonna be in the form of an active rest. So 
So that's the way I want you to think of. You're going to choose one to two things to focus on for your variety day, right? So it's really up to you guys. You could do some crawling, you could do maybe uh, some more swings, some easier swings, you could do some loaded carries, you could work on your abs, you can do some Turkish get ups, you could do some hanging leg raise. It's really up to you. Think they're just sort of there as assistance lift. You're focusing more on the tension and you're not really trying to exhaust yourself. So let's say I choose, um, for example, um, I'm going to go with uh, crawling. I love crawling. And hanging leg raises, HLRs. All right? So um, for these, you don't really need to take a baseline test for that. I wouldn't worry too much. I would just kind of practice them. Think of greasing the groove uh, during your variety day. So I would alternate between crawling and a few reps of hanging leg raise, as an example, all right, during my sessions. And it would be kind of moderately easy. They're not, they wouldn't be really hard because you're gonna be pushing more on the complex days. Make sense? So how do you put this in the uh, time sessions? Pretty simple. Week one, day one. So we got day one here. All right. You're gonna do session A. Day two is going to be a variety day, actually, for 22 minutes. That's correct. Day three is going to be session B. Okay. Now, day four, you have two sessions. One is 10 minutes. The second one is 18 minutes. Here's what you can do. I would do this. I would do, for 10 minutes, I would do session C. And then for 18 minutes, I would have a variety day session. Now, if you choose to do the variety day first, you could do session C afterwards. It's really up to you. There's no right or wrong here. I'm just giving you an example. It's going to be your choice ultimately. Um, it's, you're going to go, have to go according to how you feel and um, basically make a choice. Okay, Keep it simple. So A and then you spread it out where you do a variety day in between every complex pretty much. Just so you have some rest in between the days that where you're pushing um, your, your training, because complexes could be fairly taxing, guys. All right? So for your session strategy, how would you do this? So you're going for 12 minutes. Uh, this is going to be timed. You're just going to be uh, putting your clock for 12 minutes, and that's going to be a total, the total session, not the entire work time. So work to rest included. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this. You do your complex. Say your complex takes you about 30 seconds. Then you can rest for the rest of the session. Uh, sorry, for the rest of the, the minute. Up to the next minute. And you can take an extra minute rest. So it would be every other minute that you would go and do your kettlebell complex. So if you have 12 minutes and you're doing every other minute, how many rounds is that? Then that would be six rounds, right? So you're not going every minute on the minute. That would be 12 rounds. Every other minute, that would be six rounds. That makes sense? That way it gives you <clears throat> more rest and you're able to recover adequately between, uh, between each round of complexes. Because remember guys, you're doing three exercises back to back and if you're using a weight 10 rep max, 
I mean, it's not heavy, it's not super heavy, but after a while, after six rounds, after the first few, you know, you're gonna get, the fatigue is gonna build up pretty quickly, all right? So that's how I would do my sessions. You can, on certain days, you could try to push every minute on the minute. That's if you're feeling particularly good, you could do it every minute on the minute like that. But typically I recommend every other minute for the complexes. Another way is you could do um, auto-regulation. That means that you would um, do a round of complexes, rest for as long as you need to, don't really worry about the time, and just keep going and keep performing until the time is up. That's another method, that's another strategy that you could use, okay? Uh, besides that, um, during your variety days, uh, kind of take it easy, you know? Do your, uh, your crawling or whatever exercise you choose to about maybe 50%, 50 60% effort. You're not really pushing it. It's kind of an active rest day, okay? Uh, you're still training, but it's so, sort of easy. So the next day, you're going to be doing another complex. It's going to be session B. Same thing, you're going for 18 minutes. Do every minute, uh, every other minute, or auto-regulation, okay, AR, your choice. How you would progress with this is, um, once the weights or the reps start to feel pretty easy, like I said, add a rep here or there. So instead of doing two or three, bump it up to maybe four, and then keep doing four for a while until that starts to feel easy. Then bump it up to five. So once you start to reach five and you're doing multiple rounds of five, then you could also bring it up to six, seven. It's really your choice, guys. Once you start to reach a point that you find, man, this is just kind of really easy. I'm doing these sets of six, seven. I would actually increase kettlebell sizes. Try with a heavier pair of kettlebells. Okay, see, see how many you would do, you're able to do with a heavier pair. And I would start off um, even uh, with lower reps. If you go, if you jump up to a heavier pair of kettlebells, instead of starting with two or three, I would just start with one or two and just seeing how that feels and I'd build up from there. Okay, make sense? Uh, Complicated in a certain sense, but I hope it. I made it simple for you to understand. Um, I pretty much covered everything here. If you have any questions, just don't hesitate to uh, post them in the group and just contact me. You know, uh, don't be afraid, guys. This is uh, really. Um, I'm here for you and to show you the the best way to program this stuff. So. This is going to build tremendous work capacity with the complexes are phenomenal. Um, you're going to definitely be able to build some muscle and lose some fat if that's your, your choice and your nutrition is adequate. So um, this is going to get you some results. All right. Talk to you soon.